What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we are showcasing the last Sinnoh starter on my channel. We got ourselves a Torterra team for you guys today. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my content. But this team right here was sent in by my boy Evan. Evan, huge shout out to you. He messaged me. He's like, yo, Jeans, I got a Torterra team. Definitely check it out. Use it on the channel. And Torterra just so happens to be the final starter that I want to showcase in the Sinnoh region. We got an Infernape video already up. We got an Empoleon video already up. And now we're working on Torterra. So super excited to be using this Pokemon and showcase them in some regulation E battles. But our first two Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Shen Pao and Dragonite. Not going to talk about them too much considering you guys already know what's going on with that. Dragonite's got the normal Terra with E speed. Shen Pao is Shen Pao with a pretty normal moveset. Third Pokemon on today's team is going to be Tornadus. And Tornadus is another Pokemon I don't really want to talk too much about because, again, you guys seen him plenty of times on the ladder. Tornadus, top tier support Pokemon with Prankster and the Mental Herb, Bleak Wind Storm, Sunny Day, Taunt, Tailwind. Everything's pretty normal from there. Fluttermane is going to be in our fourth slot, not just any Fluttermane, Choice Specs Fluttermane to make this thing hit like a truck. It's got Protosynthesis to pair up with Tornadus' Sunny Day, then a great move set of Dazzling Gleam, Moonblast, Shadow Ball, and Psy Shock. In our fifth slot is the boy, the star of the show, Torterra over here with Shell Armor and the White Herb as its item. It's got Wood Hammer, EQ, Rock Slide, and Shell Smash. Using Cell Smash is going to boost all of our stats, and then the White Herb's going to pop and take out all the stats that were dropped. So what you'll be left with is Attack Boost, Special Attack Boost, and Speed Boost. So having Shell Smash set up with Torterra can make this thing hit like a truck and outspeed a decent amount of Pokemon. So super excited to be using this Pokemon, especially paired up with our final Pokemon. We got Indeedee over here. And what Indeedy can allow us to do is, one, set the Psychic Surge to stop first turn priority, and two, use some Follow Me's and allow Torterra to set up with Shell Smash, which I really, really like. You can let it set up with Shell Smash, have Indeedy just follow me until it dies out, and then bring in another Pokemon to battle alongside Torterra. Indeedy's got the Psychic Surge and Psychic Seeds as item, and then Rocket and Psychic follow me in prison and trick him for an amazing moveset for this team. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? Rent the code is that top right-hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that ladder. Let's grab some wins with Torterra in Regulation E. We're loading into our first match for today's video, and if you guys watched my Infernate video, a lot of people in the comment section down below were like, Jeans is messing up and just like blundering left and right with uh, not knowing what's going on in the field. And I'll admit it, I actually messed up yesterday. I forgot about Slush Rush. I forgot about a bunch of other things. Just was having a brain fartish kind of day, but I got you guys today. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'll take more time to think about things, and I'll, I'll get after it for you guys. But we're hopping into our first match, and we're going up against a Ursaluna Blood Moon form with Cresselia alongside with Iron Hands, uh, Chi Yu, Flutter Mean Combo, and last but not least, Amoongus. How should I play this one? Who should I get after it with? And I'm kind of liking Tour Terror, man. He's so sick. 118 speed's not bad. Its attack stat's pretty high. I like that. I like its HP stat. Everything all about it is cool. And this design is phenomenal. Just a giant tree on spec, giant turtle. I'm going to lead it alongside with Indeedee. I really do like both these Pokemon, so I'm going to bring them both in here. And then as back-end Pokemon, we are going to go Shen Pao and Fluttermane. Shen Pao and Fluttermane, I definitely like that. I definitely like that. We can't be going into Shen Pao Dragon considering we are bringing in Indeedee. So by doing that, it won't work out well for us. But what I can do here is set up the Shell Smash, kind of get going from there. Potentially just follow me. I could imprison Trick Room 2 with Indeedee. This is why I actually let it. But we can really just... Get cooking from there because I would love to actually imprison Trick Room here and set up a Shell Smash at the same time. Get a lot of value out of our Pokemon. So let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be Iron Hands and Cresselia. So, you, so we have actually two good options here. So I think he, he, they definitely want to set up Trick Room, right? I think Trick Room is an absolute must. They can't fake me out because it's rain. Everything's working out perfectly here. So what I'm going to do is going to set up the Shell Smash and I'm going to imprison the Trick Room. It's going to be my play all day. So Shell Smash coming out here. That could potentially just pop EQs if I want to. And then we will imprison the Trick Room. So we'll see what they want to do here. EQ will KO the uh, the Iron Hands all day, but Cresselia does have Levitate, which is kind of annoying. So I could always Terra Rock and maybe just go for Rock Slides. It is an option. Or we can just go straight towards Cresselia, but our opponent ends up going for a Fake Out. Love it. We love it. A little blunder from our opponent. We Shell Smash up. We get all these boosts and the drops, defense boost, special defense boost, and then attack boost, 
special attack boost, speed boost, and then white herb cancels out all of our defensive drops, which is amazing. And I believe that's plus two on all the stat boosts. I believe it is. So white herb pairs up perfectly with shell smash, and we imprison trick them if they are going to go for it, which I believe they are. Yep, cool. Dope. Awesome. Awesome. We love it. So from here, now I'm just going to EQ. I don't really care if I hit Ndidi. It's not that big of a deal for me. And I will go for... Actually, I'll just Psychic. Do I want a Terra Rock Slide? I kind of want Terra Rock Slide. But do I want to go on the Rock Tap? I kind of like your typing right now. I'm just going to go for a Wood Hammer into this thing. And then just Psychic here. Into Iron Hands. That's going to be my play. Because potentially Iron Hands could Terrasalize. No, we have Speed. No, we have all that good stuff. So I'm just going to Wood Hammer Stab here. Take some recoil damage. Kind of go from there. I like it. They can't Trick Room. They can't set it up. That's fine by me. Plus, indeed, he can hit pretty hard with the Psychic super effective stab in the Psychic Terrain. Everything's lovely. Everything is lovely. So, Tor Terror getting after it here in match number one. And we are going to see a Terror type, potentially from the Iron Hands. That's why I did not want to just drop an EQ. It would have did more damage to my NDD than anything. So, Grass Terror comes out. That's fine by me. I don't mind that too much. And we'll see what he wants to do from here. Helping hands can come out. Okay, that's looking a little scary. You're looking a little scary here. Hopefully, you're going after Indeed. I kind of want my Indeed just to die out here. But Woodhammer's going to get cooking. Bop on the Cresselia. Doing a massive amount of damage. Half HP to Cresselia is massive. Psychic's going to fly here. Going to chuck up some damage. A little bit. And Drain Punch is going to come into the Indeed. Which, I mean, that's fine. Another Woodhammer takes out the Cress. And I think that's fine. I think we finish off the Cress here with a Woodhammer. And then we just follow me, right? I think that's my plan. It actually could have ally switch, which could be scary. Could be scary, but if it doesn't ally switch, we can just finish it off with a wood hammer, which I love. And we can go from there. Because this lead was kind of just to cancel out Trick Room and to set up Torterra, and Torterra is doing great. I would have loved to pair up Torterra with potentially like Rillaboom or something, just to get that grass terrain. <laughs> it would be awesome, but indeed he works so perfectly to cancel that Trick Room, especially within Prison. So they seem to be in a tough spot. They might have to swap out here. I do have Shen Pao to get work done, and he's going to end up helping Hannah, and that's, that's totally cool with me, because from here, we follow me. Drain Punch is going to KO my Indeedee. I don't really need the Indeedee anymore, and we get rid of the Cresselia, so everything works out perfectly here. And I don't know if they have another Trick Room Setter. I really don't know. I'm really not sure. So Tor Terror ripping into Cresselia. Everybody knows Cresselia is super bulky, so it's, it's, it's really hard to one-shot that thing. And a Drain Punch is going to fly over here and take out Indeed. That's fine. That's fine. I don't mind that. I was kind of expecting that, too. So from here, I think we just bring out Shen Pao. Right? It's an absolute must to bring out Shen Pao, because I could... I could actually EQ this turn. I have Protect on Shen Pao, or I could use my Focus Ash. I have options. I do have a lot of options here. But it really depends who they bring out here. But I'm, I'm down to... I'm down to Protect and EQ. I wouldn't be surprised to see a Drain Punch come after Shen Pao. But Fluttermane does come out here. Fluttermane pops out here. And is it booster energy? It is. Show me special attack, not speed. It is speed. So that's a little scary. That is a little scary. But the real question is, do we just pop an EQ and protect? I think we do that. I think I EQ protect. If I can get to Terra just land this EQ, I would... We would be su in such a good position. We would be in such a good position. So he ends up withdrawing the hands. Yo. This could be a big time turn. Who are you going to go into here? That's the real question. Yo, this could be a big time turn. He ends up protecting. Okay, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. We get off some free damage on the blood moon. Free damage on the blood moon. We love free damage here. But I think he wants fake out. Potentially on another turn. That makes sense. So EQ's gonna fly. We got Protect on Shen Pao. They protected Fluttermane here as well. And EQ is going to do some big time damage on Fluttermane. So from here, what I'm thinking of is just going for EQ, trying to KO the field, and just sucker punching this thing right here. Yeah, I like that. I like that the best. I don't think they hard swap Fluttermane. I really don't see that happening. 
And they're doing something. What are you doing here? Oh my god. I just had a blunder. That's ugly. That's ugly. Bad news by Jeans. Bad play by Jeans. Seki turn is still going, but Torterra's got my back. Torterra cleans up the field. We love it. I can't believe I just did that. I can't believe I just did this. This terrain feels like it's been in here forever. <laughs> I was just sitting there. I was just like, I was like, wait, what happened? Why is my sucker punch hitting? And then I realized the terrain is still there, but it's real faint to see sometimes. But it happens. Torterra's got my back all day. Love it. Picking up the double KO. I don't mind KO in my Shen Pao. As long as I'm picking up the double KO. And now it turns into a 2v1. So he can fake me out. I got nice little moon blast coming in. Right on his mitt. And then I'm just going to start. I do have terror type. Do I go rock terror? Or do I have fairy terror on you? What's your terror type? You got fairy. It'd be, it'd be ideal to go that route. So from here, I'm just going to pop a nice little rock slide. Try to look for some flinches. And then terror and go for some moon blast into the iron hand slot. Plus I'm going to keep my ground terror. Or my ground typing on the uh, on the tour terror. The tour terror actually struggles up against this grass terror, iron hands. But still, we played it pretty well here. We're telling rock down match more. I love it. I love it. We made one bad play, but hey, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We played tour terror really well. The Flutterman comes out here. We hit that terror button for it. Nice little boost. It's got stab. It's got terror boost from Moonblast. It also has a little choice spec boost. And Rockslide's still doing a nice amount of damage which is with a flinch chance. So Moonblast flies out here. This has the potential to KO here, correct? Does not KO, but still. Big time damage. We love it. And a wild charge is going to fly here. And we survive it. Cool. Recoil damage brings it down to one. And that is going to be game set match. I'm going to go into a wood hammer just so we don't miss. And then on top of that, just Moonblast. And that's going to be game set match. Tour Terror. Killing it in match number one. That MVP. No doubt about it. Would have her coming in hot here. There it is. He picked up four KOs. Just killing it. But want to know to get things started. Let's go hop into our second match. Like to showcase Torterra a little bit more. Second match coming at you guys. And we're going up against a Torterra team. I love to see it. But we're also going up against the brand new OP Pokemon, Ogre Pond. Really strong Pokemon with a uh, Heart of the Flame Mask. I think that's what it is. So it is the fire type. And this thing absolutely rips, especially when Thrastalizes. They also have Nine Tails to set the sun, make it Ogre Pond even stronger. And then on top of that, they're rocking out with Blood, Moon, Ursa, Luna. And then Volbeat, cool new return returning Pokemon. And in the... How should we play this one? Who should we go into? Torterra was a lot of fun using that last match. I might want to go into him again, considering it's Terror type and everything about it. This works out really well. So do I want to do that? I kind of do. If we go into you, I could also potentially go into you. Or I could just go into like Shen Pao or something. Or I could even go into Flutterman. Like who do I think they're going to potentially lead, right? Could be Ninetales, a little bit of weather control. I could just go into Flutterman. And Flutterman works out pretty well, but I would love to just Shell Smash up. I would love the Shell Smash. Or I could just take Full Blown Speed Control. That could work. That could work. You know what? I'm going to go Fluttermane here. I'm going to bring Tornadus. And in the back end, I'm just going to go Shen Pao. I think Shen Pao could work wonder, especially with first turn priority. It does outspeed a lot. I really do like it. But Torterra seems like it could be low-key the winning Pokemon in this matchup. Right? right? Ogre Pond is going to be very strong. Nightail is going to be strong and set the sun. If I can get in there, potentially hit some EQs, Terrasalize, and Rock, everything could work out beautifully. We'll see. Especially with Shell Smash or Speed goes through the roof. I get Tailwind. I have another support Pokemon in the back end to do that. And we'll go from there. But Ninetales and Ogre Pond come out here. A little scary. Just a tad bit scary. And the sun gets set. This is this is where things get a little up. So I get the Protosynthesis boost. I get the special attack item. Ogre Pond's gonna have Mold Breaker. And now the real question is, do you outspeed my Fluttermane? That is the real question. 187. I don't really remember Ogre Pond's speed. And I'm gonna really hope. I'm gonna really hope that you can outspeed. But you know what? I want to Terrasalize and I want to just go into a Shell Smash here. And then from here, I want to just go into. And I saw Shadow Ball. Here, so. Should I drop Rock Slide instead of Shell Smashing? No, I think we're fine. I think we're fine. I get the Protosynthesis boost, I get everything. He's gonna Terrasalize his lovely Ogre Pond. Straight fire type. Chill on me, man. Leave me alone. And the mask is coming out here. Terrifying. 
This thing is so strong, especially setting the sun with it. Embody aspect. Gives him that plus one attack boost. And again, I'm really hoping Flutterman can outspeed. Because if Flutterman can outspeed, we can do some big time damage. Potentially even KO. With choice spec, we are stab boosted. We're protosynthesis boosted. A lot of damage coming out here. And I don't think Ogre Pond is that strong on the, or that bulked up on the defensive sides. But we do outspeed, so cool. Can we one shot? Can we just get rid of this thing? We do, and we get a crit too. I love you, Fluttermane. I love you, Fluttermane. I love you, Ogre Pond. Get on out of here. I'm tired of dealing with you. It's already so annoying. It's so strong. So we'll see what they want to do. They want to go for a Will O' Wisp, and they're going to end up missing. Torterra dodged that. And yo, look at Torterra's Terra type. It's on top of the tree. <laughs> That's goaded. That's sick. It's just chilling up on top of the tree. But a big time KO comes out from Fluttermane. I think we were potentially KOing regardless. I really do. I don't think we need the crit. But uh, I end up shell smashing. We do dodge the Will the Wisp. That was pretty massive. And from here, I feel as Torterra can really just start thriving here. I could drop EQs, and I'm really thinking of doing that. And yeah, I am going to do that. And I'm just going to hard swap into... Into what's it called? Into Tornadus. So EQ is going to fly for me. I'm going to hard swap into Tornadus. And we'll reset our choice spec. And have Fluttermane in the back end as well. So we get the Flutter main swap, Torterra killing it so far. I think it's working out perfectly for Torterra. When Oz comes out here, we throw out the flying type. EQ is now cooking. I do believe Ninetales could potentially be Sash. It is an option, but this should be some big time damage. And none of them are Sash. And we pick up the KO on Indeedee. And on to Ninetales, yo. Shell Smash Torterra is unbeatable. This thing is unbeatable. Oh my god, it's just, it's taking, like, it does not take no for an answer. It just KOs left and right. Blood Moon Ursaluna comes out here, and we just pretty much wrapped up the match. I can go for Woodhammer here. They don't have Terra, and I already have Speed. I might as well just bleep and storm into it. The battle was canceled. We pick up a nice little sweep in match number two. Tour Terra, picking up all the KOs yet again. Third and final match coming at you guys, and we're going up against a Wellspring Ogre Pond team alongside with Empoleon. So we got a little bit of Sinnoh match up here with Ogre Pond. We just versed an Ogre Pond in the fire form, and this is my first time actually versing the one in the water form, so gonna be pretty cool. They also have Fluttermane, they got Tornadus just like us, and then Iron Hands and Intimidate on Lando. How should we play this one? Who should we go into, to be honest? And honestly, Intimidate really does me dirty. Are you inner focus or multi-skill? Inner focus, I love that, I love that. I wanted it to be that, so it actually works out great here. So I'm thinking from here we just go like Dragonite and Flutter me? Nah, Dragonite Chen Pao. It's a must. It's a must. Or we can take some speed. And I might go Tornadus Flutter me. I like that. Tornadus Flutter me. Bring Chen Pao in the back end alongside with the boy Torterra. I want to bring Dragonite, but like, come on. We use Dragonite the like past five months, right? It's Torterra time. It's Torterra time. So I'll bring in Torterra. If we lose this match, it's no big deal. We're already 2 0. And Torterra is just. Thriving. I think it has all the KOs so far. It had four KOs in match number one, three KOs in match number two, and then our opponent canceled, leaving one Pokemon on the field, so it does have every single KO. But I end up going into my special attackers just in case Intimidate wanted to be led. And then from here, we can simply go into a lovely little Tailwind, and I want to Terrasalize, but I can't. I want to, but I can't. I'm just going to Shadow Ball into Empoleon. Then so I end up going Tailwind. We end up going into a Tailwind. I could have went to a Sunny Day if I wanted to, but it's whatever. I am scared of the Flash Cannon. That is terrifying, but my, I mean, my Terror type is... It is Fairy, so it doesn't really dodge it or anything. So we end up doing damage onto that, and there's the Flash Cannon. Probably going to rip into me. Can we eat? We can eat. Beautiful. Lovely. Lovely. Just dandy. So from here, I'm honestly not going to worry about Empoleon that much. I think I'm just going to try to take out... I think I'm just going to try to take out... What's it called? The Tornadus here. And set the Sun at the same time. And the reason I want to set the Sun is, one, it procs my Protosynthesis, making Fluttermane do more damage. And two, setting the Sun neglects water damage, and they have Empoleon. And if I had to guess, they probably have the Wellspring Ogre Pond in the back end, so... This could be a solid turn for us. So I get that Protosynthesis boost. Not really too worried about Empoleon anymore. The Shadow Ball is going to be cooking here. And I think this can KO Tornadus with all these boosts. No, but that's not, but still, I like damage. 
Flash Cannon continues to fly into my Flutter main. Flutter main drops out. And we'll see. What are you going for? Maybe a Bleak Wind Storm? And you're landing, even in the sun. No problem. No problem. So from here, can't go toward Terra just yet. Cannot go toward Terra just yet. Actually, I mean, we could. Now would be the time to go toward Terra. They could go to Torterra and just look to go some rock slides, right? I kind of like that. Go shell, a shell smash here. I, this could be a turn two go shell smash. And I think it is. I think we're going to Terra and we are going to go for a shell smash. Because I'm going to go for Bleak Wind Storm here. I'm going to Terrasize in a rock. And the reason I want to Terrasize in a rock is because of Bleak Wind Storm in, in to, uh, from their... From their turn on us. I don't believe my Poyon's going for a water move. So if it doesn't go for a water move this turn, it should swap in. That's beautiful. Everything's working for fine. Okay, we're fine. And Ogre Pond comes out here. We are going Rock Terror, but still, if we get this Shell Smash off, or we're out speeding it all day. And then I can just start ripping into it with a Wood Hammer, all that good stuff. The so Shell Smash is going to give us a plus two speed boost, and then on top of that, we already have Tailwind. Everything's looking lovely. I like it. I kind of wish I didn't Terror now. But it was just a safe bet kind of thing. Rain dance, yeah, we gotta knock that off with rain dance. That's fine, because that actually allows my bleak wind storm to hit 100% of the time. That's beautiful. So we're gonna be able to take out tornadoes. I could set sun again if I want to. I could do it again. I got prank strong. Come on, man. That's too easy. Setting up the shell smash. We're looking we're looking mighty fine. We're looking mighty fine. We might actually keep the rain. We might just keep the rain. Because again, Bleak Wind Storm lands 100% of the time in the land, so this could benefit me. And we just did some monster damage over there. And we get the speed drop. And we get the speed drop. And it just seems like EQ all day with Torterra is just going to knock this one Or Rock Slide, whichever one I want to do. Cool. Torterra, killing it again. But Tornado's picking up a KO, taking things away. But he, he ends up going back into Napoleon. Yeah, dude, this just wraps, man. This is wrap. So even sunny day, I don't think there's a point of going into sunny day. Then we just go bleak windstorm, we just EQ freely. It's gonna be a match. That's a game. It's easy double KO here. Torterra's outspeeding everybody. Plus two on speed, plus two on attack. It's over with. It's over with. And next is Tornadus. We can just freely do it without hitting our, our ally Pokemon. There's a nice big double KO. Dude, this Pokemon's ridiculous. You set up Shell Smash, it's game set match. His speed's solid too. If you get Shell Smash up, it's like in like the 200s, like 230. So it's hanging with the Fluttermanes and all that. A big time counter for it would be the Iron Bundle. But I mean, Rock Terror works out perfectly. The Tailwinds are gone. I could set up another one if I want to. They're going to go into their final Pokemon. It is going to be Fluttermane. And this is where I Tailwind up because this thing might have Pro Synthesis Boost. It does. And speed is high. And this is where I Tailwind up. And I hit this thing with a monstrous wood hammer. This is where I just smack down on with it with, with a base 120 wood hammer. Stab, neutral, shell smash boost. Come on, man. Torterra's making this game too easy. It's gonna end up Terrasilize too. I just think it has like fire terror. That'd be wild. Perfect terror. It's definitely fairy. But you're not outspeeding me. I think you die in one shot. I think you do die in one shot. You're not that bulky on the defensive side. Torterra is here to hit like a truck. He's been doing it all game. So we set up the tailwind here just to make sure we outspeed. And I believe we will outspeed. And yes, it is. And what have it comes in hot. Bop. See you later. Fluttermane and Torterra. Loving this Pokemon. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this 3-0 perfect record. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. A 3-0 perfect record with Torterra in today's video. We rocked out with every single Pokemon, but obviously Torterra was MVP. Setting up Shell Smash, allowed to get that attack boost and speed boost, and then from there, it's just EQ City or Woodhammer City. Taking out Pokemon left and right, which I absolutely love. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.